want to say this, you know, I want you, I want to say this, I want you to understand that, you know, the reason why I think most people fail in business and why they can never make it. up overcomer nation it's your boy john and i wanted to make this video because i'm just i'm going through some old uh stuff you know i was checking out some old stuff in the office and you know just reminiscing you know over the years uh building a business is is something and you know you you gotta have value in what you're doing and, and you have to have gratitude for what you've done and you know, I wanted to make this video because I, I feel it's just so important for you to have gratitude for how far you've come and, and where you're going to go. You know, where, where's your road still headed, right? And as I go through these old parts that, you know, I bought, all this little stuff that I bought, that was stashed away in my storage where all my where all my stuff is that I have for, for all my supplies. You know, I was looking at some pictures, looking at old supplies, checking things out, and it just started bringing up memories, you know. It started bringing out old memories on, on my business in my first year when I started in business. And, and I was starting my first year on SunClean. Obviously, I've been running businesses for quite a long time now, over 10 years, actually. And every little piece starts to bring back a little memory on what it took to, to do some of the ideas that I've come up with and some of the things that I've done over the years uh, building my business. <laughs> I mean, you know, we live in a society right now where ungratitude is like, it, it's, it's, it's crazy. I mean, we... We don't appreciate anything that we have anymore, guys. And, and I want you to understand something that if you built a business or if you're trying to build a business or that's something you want to do, I also run a successful uh, construction cleanup business and uh, pressure washing, high rise window cleaning. We do a lot of that cool stuff too. And I've been in so many different businesses. You know, I've, I've ran businesses in retail. Um, I've been in sales. I've been in uh, retail sales. I've been in service industry. I've run online businesses. And it's like, if you just think back on your journey, okay, maybe, maybe, you're, maybe you're just getting started on this journey, or maybe you've been in this game for quite some time, you know? I don't really know exactly what that looks like for you or, you know, what, what you're up to, man. Like, honestly, I'm, I'm making this video for me because I want to look back on this thing and I want to remember, you know, what it took. You know, I want to tell, I want to tell my kids one day, I want to tell my family one day, like, man, this is, this is your uncle John. This is your pops. This is your, this is John. Like, this is what I did from the age of 18 to 45 or fuck 45 i'm not gonna give up at 45 i'm gonna be doing entrepreneurship till i die <clears throat> but you know you, you when you start reminiscing a little bit you start reminiscing right you start reminiscing on the past and what you where you've come and what you've accomplished and where you were at then and where you're at today you know right now with the coronavirus and just you know if you're watching this video now that's great if you're watching this video 10 years from now and you don't know what COVID-19 is, you know, either way, this is going to give you some value. So just stay with me for a second. Okay. All you entrepreneurs out there, just stay with me. So look back where you were at, right? This would be perfect if I had a, a, uh, marker. Let me see if I can get one. Bear with me guys. Let me get you a mark, get a marker real quick. And I'm going to show you a few things. Okay. So think back when you first started your business, okay? You started out right here, right? You're unhappy and you're trying to get to here, right? This is, uh, this is called the success ladder, okay? Okay, this is you winning, win, right? 
and you're 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 trying so desperately hard. Man, my beard's a little crazy today. And you want to win so bad, right? This is the biggest mistake I see with uh, business, online business, service business. Doesn't really matter. I've owned all of them, right? And you just, all you want is this because you know that the party is going to be thrown when you get to this, okay? It's like you've arrived, right? You've arrived, okay? <clears throat> but let's think back over here. <clears throat> let's think back over here. When you first started, you were just doing your thing and you, you, you came up with your idea for the very first time. How did that make you feel? You know, think about it for a second with me right now. You know, you started your business idea and you just got it off the ground. You made your first hundred bucks. You made your first 500 bucks. How did you feel? I know for me personally, I felt like I could take on the world. I felt like I could do anything. Everything was possible. And, and there's just so much bad stuff out there right now. I mean, our economy just went to shit overnight. We got 23 million Americans that are unemployed. And I just feel like... One of you guys need this video out there. And if I could just help one of you guys right now, just change your life just a little bit and give you some of this thought process that I'm having right now and, and, and let you feel what I'm feeling right now. I think this will really change your life. Okay. Um, sorry, bad camera skills. <clears throat> think about this guys. You got your first 500 bucks. Okay. And you're happy, right? You got your first 50 bucks, your first 500 bucks. Man, this marker sucks. Bear with me, my friends. I promise I'm getting to the value, okay? This is going to be a shitty video, but it's going to be a great video with content, okay? Good content. I mean, that's why you're watching this, right? You're watching this because you want something. You want something out of this, right? You want some value. You want to keep going. I don't know if you're about to give up, if you're about to go bankrupt because of this COVID-19 thing. You're sitting at home. You're stuck. You're just like, oh, my God, I'm going crazy. I want to do something or what it is, it doesn't really matter, okay? But listen to me, okay? Because I'm gonna help you, okay? My, the, my, I don't have a decade in business for no reason, all right? That's not me being cocky or arrogant or any bullshit like that because I suffered just like you and I struggled just like you. But this was me, right? Got my first 500 bucks, super happy, right? And when you first started off in business, you're kind of sad because you're like, man, I'm not a business owner. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I don't know how to make my first 500 bucks, but I want to be happy because I want to win. I want to throw the party, right? And you want to feel like you've accomplished something, like you've won, like you've done something, right? So here's what happens. You go on your journey and you start to win, okay? You get your first 500 bucks. Then something hits you in the face, right? You get freaking punched. Pow, right? Pow. And now you're like, shit, I just got punched in the face, right? Excuse me, excuse my little art, artistic shit here, right? So pow, you get punched in the face, okay? And that makes you go back like this. You go back down and you're sad again, okay? And so all you want to do is you want to get to, to the win. You want to arrive, whatever that looks like to you. I don't know. Maybe it's, it's, maybe it's this. So many of us, right? Maybe it's that. Maybe, maybe it's, it's the big $1 million. One milli. Yay. Okay. Maybe that's what it is for you. Okay. Maybe, maybe it's a, uh, uh, maybe it's a Lambo. Right. Or maybe, no. oh, I'm, I'm, I'm good right now. Oh, okay. Oh. oh, okay. You're just going to take that one. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So, so maybe that's what it is. Maybe, maybe it's a Lambo, right? Maybe it's the girl you always wanted, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's a house. Either way, the result is this. What is that? It's to be happy. Really, this is all what we're looking for, right? It started sad, and really, we knew it was to be happy, but we cover it up with all this stuff, right? We want the $1 million, right? 
we want the Lambo, okay? And we want the girl and we want the house, okay? And what I've realized because, you know, I've gotten all this stuff, right? Done millions of dollars in sales from the age of 20 to 30 years old. I've done the Lambo. I have an amazing girl. I have an amazing place that I stay, right? I, I'm not a big guy on buying. I like renting. So, you know, I've reached my accomplish though. I've accomplished where I want to live. You know, it's, it's my goal that I always wanted to live where I'm living at. And we keep doing this roller coaster, right? So we go back up, we get the Lambo. And then all of a sudden our business has some issues, right? We hire a bunch of people, we get a bunch of people on the team, we get like 10 new hires and we bought the Lamborghini, we're happy. And then we lose seven of those people and we're back down to two people. So then we do this, we go back down and we do this. We get sad again, okay? And this is a never ending cycle, okay? It's sick, it's sickening, okay? It's very sickening and if you're like me, then you know exactly what I'm talking about with these modules right now, okay? With this, these stupid drawings that I'm making. Because I always want the next thing, not just material, I'm always looking for the next mountain to climb. And that's okay, because I like entrepreneurship. I like the game of it. I like accomplishing tasks. I like going up, accomplishing, coming back down, and then, you know, sometimes I'll even, you know, destroy my first idea to get to the next idea. But really, what we should be doing and understand this, guys, I'm telling you, the fastest way to get to this, okay, which is really, it's not about all this, okay, it's really about this up here, about being happy, but none of us want to accept that because we want this, we want the million dollars, we want the Lambo, we want the girl, we want the house, we want all that. So we run our whole business life, our whole business career, I've been doing this for 10 years, guys, we keep doing this. And we never get to here. So why run a business at all? Why run a business at all? Why be an entrepreneur at all? Okay, I know you can relate with this and understand this. If you've been in business for any amount of time, you can understand this. And if you haven't started a business yet, you're not an entrepreneur yet, you will go through this, okay? Unless you listen to me right now and you try to just get you know ahead of this thing and not deal with this. Because here's what happens too is not only do you zigzag, you tend to do this every time you zigzag, okay? So let me try to delete this real quick. Bear with me, guys, I know. So this is what happens. You actually end up doing this, you go back up, and then you end up coming back, okay? And then you might go back, and then you end up coming back, okay? So now you're not actually zigzagging in place, you're actually going back and, and 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 the whole point is to get from losing to winning right so what's the logic what's the logic here okay the logic here is is understand this when i say that you're going backwards what I mean is you're starting a new business idea every time you go backwards. You, in, instead of you going straight to happy, winning, get yes, getting all this. Look, I'm not against this stuff. I'm not against money. I'm not that guy, okay? I'm not going to be like the guy that's like, don't get the Lambo, don't get money, don't do that so, so kind of stuff. Because my first few years in business, that's what motivated me. That's what got me going. That's what pushed me forward so I can get everything that I wanted out of life. But there is more to this. There is more. You are going to find on your mission to success and what you are trying to create and what you're trying to do, you are going to find more to this thing. And I promise you guys, if you only stay stuck on this stuff over here, okay, the million dollars, the girl, the Lambo, the house, you will never get to winning. I promise you, you will never get here, okay? You never will. Because once you get that, it won't be enough. It will not be enough, guys. I am telling you this from experience, okay? But that's not what we wanna hear. We all wanna win, we all want what we want. And I understand this isn't what you need, it's about what you want. And so I'm gonna show you how to get what you want. 
okay? I'm gonna show you how to get what you want and it's a secret, okay? Understand that it's the biggest secret that the rich are not talking about and the wealthy are not talking about and the people that are running businesses, they're keeping it to themselves because they don't even know how they did it, but they did it, okay? It's about staying the course. You ready for this, okay? In order for you to win, the, the, the quickest amount of distance is to do what? It's to go straight. When you do this, you go up, down, up, down, up, down, back, up, back, up, back. See, every one of these backs is your new business idea. New biz. Because you think it's going to get you this over here. More money, Lambo, fame, whatever it is, right? You keep going with the new business idea. You, you hit, you get powed right? You get hit in the face, then you drop down, you go back up and then you get a new business idea and you start all over, right? But the fastest way to get to happy, which is what we all want anyway, or all of this, because I know that's part of your happiness, right? I mean, you got to have some sort of wealth. You're not in business for no reason. Okay. Wealth is important. It's important to have. It's also important though, to give back. It's important also to help your fellow compadres. It's helped to build your team and watch them grow. I mean, nothing is more fulfilling to me to watch people on my team that didn't have anything before. And now they have freaking everything. Okay, they have everything. They have their finances straight. They're getting better. They're becoming better people and everything else. But by far, the easiest way to get everything that you've ever wanted out of life is the straight line to success. Okay, you, this is you sticking with the business idea, dealing with the pivots, dealing with the downfalls, dealing with COVID-19, dealing with your business not performing right at that time and sticking through the hard times showing up when you don't want to show up okay when your employees quit on you you stick around because the two or three that stayed on your team they kept showing up so you kept showing up and i want you to understand if you ever want to be happy you need to stick with the course stand stand your ground my friends stand your ground and the whole reason why I can stay happy and have gratitude on the way because my thought process right now, I got brought back to reality. This whole COVID-19 thing put things in perspective. It helped me understand what am I going through, okay? I'm a very motivated individual. And, and for me personally, I need a lot. I need a lot. I need to have my business. I need to have another business. I have at least two businesses because that's what makes me happy. That's what allows me to strive and attack that next mountain, right? It's not just about getting more. It's about because I want to contribute more. I want to hire more people. I want to impact more lives. What I'm doing right now in this camera is what I love to do. I love helping people. And this is something that some people will never understand. They're like, well, John, how come you did all this? How come you're making this video? How come you're trying to help me out? You're trying to sell me something? What are you trying to do? No, man, this video is not to sell you anything. The sooner you can come to realization that there are people out there that want to help and you take it is the second you will start to win and you will be happy. Okay, you might ask, well, John, what made you come up with this and what made you come up with all this and, and why are you happy and how can you deal with all of the issues and the pals and the punches in the face? And quite honestly, guys, before this COVID-19 thing happened, right before this hit, I was going to go on to do the biggest months that I had ever had by 100%. Meaning if I was doing $100,000 a month for February, year over year, I was going to do 200000 this month. And in March and in April, I had all the shit lined up. But because my partners are closed right now and they cannot do business, I'm getting <clears throat> powed in the face. Okay? And a lot of you fuckers are. A lot of you guys are getting pouted in the face right now. But you don't see me crying about it. I'm not whining about it. I'm not bitching about it. I'm doing what I have to do. And some of you guys are going to look at this video and be like, oh, John's a dick. He's an asshole. He has no sympathy. Look, man, I got empathy for you, brother. I got sympathy for you, sister. I understand what you're going through. But what I don't understand is if you want to get to happy, don't give up. Keep showing up. Keep doing what's necessary. And here's what I do so I can stay grounded and have gratitude. This is what you need. If there's anything part of this clip, if there's anything you should have watched on this whole thing and pay attention is this. 
and I'm going to tell you to great take notes right now. Okay. Everyone tells you this. They all say, stay gratitude. Okay. Have gratefulness, be happy. Right. But what they don't tell you is how to do that. How do you stay happy in these times? Right. How do you have gratitude for what you have? How do you truly keep that in your heart? Because tell you my friends it's hard when you're getting punched in the face and you're getting screwed up and you're taking a hit on your business it ain't gonna put me down though it ain't gonna put me out of business thank god i have enough business to keep me going i'm just not gonna have the biggest months that i've ever had in my life now i'm gonna do everything i can to change that because i'm pivoting as you can see here on this board over here it's my entire pivot plan on what i'm gonna do to make sure that i pivot my business correctly so i can still have the best months of my life but you might ask what is it then john what keeps you grounded what keeps you happy what keeps you in gratitude and aligned okay and this is just one of my methods is it is it is it a vision board right everybody says oh it's a vision board make your vision board and you'll win and you'll have everything you'll ever have and you'll always be happy no, well, yeah, vision board is a good thing to do. Okay, I, I, I will not put down the vision board. I've been doing these things for 10 years and I'm telling you they're incredible, okay? It will change your life if you do a vision board, okay? But the truth of the matter is, is you need gratitude, right? You need gratitude in your heart. You need to truly feel that you are a winner, okay? And you are winning, okay? It is literally the only way I know to stick it out through the test of time. Like right now, you got to stick it out over four to six months with your business. How are you going to do that if you hate your business? If you hate it because it's causing you more problems and harm than what it is that you're trying to accomplish, right? How are you going to stay with it? How are you going to stick with it, right? You might ask yourself, well, shit, if I'm losing all this money, I'm losing all this money, how can I have gratitude for what I have? It's simple. You remember the board I showed you where you first started and you were sad, okay? Let me show you something real quick. And this is how I stay grounded. This was me in 2016, all right? October of 2016, it is now 2019. Three years in the making on this current business that I've been running. And it's not my first business, not my first rodeo. I ran a few different businesses, right? What I like to do, and this is what keeps me grounded, is I look at this, and I remember this was my first job that I ever did with my sun clean business. With my online virtual business, my, I did my first little funnel on how to teach people how to get large commercial contracts, and that's how I did it virtually. And I sold a bunch of those programs and softwares and coaching programs to help like-minded entrepreneurs get into the service business and get larger deals so they can stop doing deals like this right this is me you can see by my arm holding a tap holding a garden hose that the client provided that i cleaned my first solar panels this is where we started in our business we were cleaning solar panels with the hose and their pool cleaning a uh, little bar thing here that we scrubbed the panels with. I collected about 200 bucks on that job. If you fast forward, 2018, we've progressed. That was a $300 job. This was a $10,000 job. Now we're using big lifts. We got these special water fed poles that clean the windows all the way to the top. We got a crew of like four people here and so on and so forth. So what am I telling you? How do you keep the gratitude? You look back at the times when it was the worst, when you started your business or your endeavor, whatever it is you're trying to do. You remember how hard it was to close that first deal, to get that first deal, to do that first thing that you did. And you need to look at where you're at today. Where do you stand today? Are you making progress today? Because if you're making progress today, it's not about me. It's not about Instagram models and all that bullshit out there that you're looking at. It's not about your friend that's got a real estate business that's doing gazillions of dollars. It's about you, my friend. What are you doing? And this is why I'm able to win is because I look at myself. I look at my progress. 
I look at where did I start and where am I at today? Because if you are anywhere close to moved forward from the beginning of when you started, that is progression. And that is where the gratitude lies. As you can easily see the difference between A and B. Where did you start? See, when I look at this stuff, this is what I told you I was fooling around with is all these little things right here. Look at this right here. If you look at this right here, this is where I came from. This little piece of uh, jet material and also some little clamps, custom clamps that I made. This was part of my sun clean journey when I was only offering solar panel cleanings in my sun clean business, okay, my service business. Now we're doing $100 million developments that are multifamily, hotels, all kinds of big shit, office buildings, and we're the contract cleaner for the entire fucking building. This right here was my way of pivoting when I needed to, when I was just cleaning solar panels for 200 bucks a pop. This was one of my first big breakthroughs on getting larger tickets. This, what you're looking at, is something I developed. This is literally a sprinkler head that is custom made with a fitting and then it has a custom clamp. This clamp right here clamps onto the solar panel, onto a solar panel. And then it puts, it, I literally created this to clean solar panels automatically. It literally had plumbing that ran all the way down to the bottom of the house. And there was like 20 of these little jets that were clamped onto the solar panels that hooked up to an automated timer and all this crazy shit right filtration system and it turned on every day for five minutes and cleaned the customer solar panels automatically it was literally called scs systems sun clean systems right this was three years ago i was hustling these things that i created out of plumbing materials and sprinklers trying to find a better way for my business to succeed so i can win at my business Instead of selling $200 manual scrub cleanings, I created and I pivoted and I got smart and I started selling these things for $2,500 a pop per house. Elevated my business, took my game up. That was a win, right? Go from sad to win. I won. I got a little bit higher. I figured something out. It was a victory. Even if I'm losing today, it was still a victory, right? Now today... You got me doing freaking Hiltons and Marriott's and big ass developers that build multifamily where we're the entire contract cleaner. We cover over 500,000 square feet of cleaning, exterior, interior. We got a squad. We got vehicles. We got equipment. We got so much equipment. We don't even know what to do with the equipment. Okay. You look back at that time when you were just starting and you were getting creative out there trying to make SES systems, cleaning solar panels with hoses, that's what gives you the gratitude in your heart, brother, sister, so you can keep showing up and do what's necessary. Because it reminds you that you come from a place not that long ago that wasn't as good as it is now ramen noodles back then is now top sirloin steak okay don't forget that guys don't forget that my friends remember you're eating top sirloin steak today no matter how hard your situation is because if you have any progress in your business in your life that is progress and that means you are eating top sirloin steak okay you're not eating ramen noodles no more. It's where you started and where you're at today. Compare that, block out the noise, fuck COVID-19. Screw everybody that says you couldn't do it because I promise you, you can and you will. And I will help you keep watching my content because I'm gonna keep bringing some awesome killer shit while we get through this fucking quarantine. Stay humble, stay true, get through this, I got you. It's your boy, John Erickson, owner of SunClean, creator of Overcomer Academy, virtual blueprint, large commercial contract blueprint. Whether you're a service owner or you're somebody that wants to get into the online space because of this new pandemic and you need to start over, it doesn't matter. I got you. You want to get into the service business? You want to get large commercial contracts? 
I'm gonna help you. You wanna get into online space? You wanna go virtual? You need to go virtual? Virtual Blueprint. I will help you in all categories, it does not matter. But my friend, you will not have the opportunity, the opportunity to learn from me, from people like me or anyone if you give up now. If you forget where you came from, you won't even have the opportunity. And that's what I want from you guys. I want you to at least give yourself a shot. Give yourself an opportunity. And the only way to do that is to remember how good you have. I'm out, my friends. Peace out. Click the link below if you want more information or subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please smash the subscribe button. Let me know what you think about this video, man. If you liked it, if it was too long, if it was drawn out, let me know, man, because I'm trying to make these things better and I want to help you guys out and I want to make sure I bring the most value that I possibly can to you, okay? And that's all I'm here for, guys, is to help you. I want to help you, okay? Peace out, guys.